Hey everyone, we are about to make our eggs. Um, I have our small pan here and I just went and sprayed it with a little bit, Ooh, let's see if that zooms in, with a little bit of vegetable oil spray. Um, I know a lot of people like to make their scrambled eggs by putting it in a separate bowl and mixing it. I like to just break my eggs right on the counter. I don't use the side of the bowl because that does tend to get eggshells in a lot more. But I just break them straight into my pan. I do not have my pan on right now. I usually do it with it off. And you want to be sure that you don't get any shells in at all. Okay, just rinsing my hands real quick. Okay, and I'll usually go in. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cut it on medium heat in here. I like to go and break up the yolks and just mix it in a little. I don't like to mix mine too much. I like it where there's still whites and a little bit of the yellow yolk showing too. And we're just going to let that set just for a minute or so. Turn up the heat just a little bit. Okay, and you'll notice it's starting to turn white on the bottom. I usually go and slightly move it around. I don't like to mess with it too much. When it really starts getting solid, I'll just kind of pull it away like that. Chop it up, let the whites through. And I'll do this sometimes when there's a little too much liquid over there. And I try not to chop it up too much in there because I do like to take it and flip it. Well, best way that you can. And that cooks for a few seconds. I'll kind of flip it over again. Chop it up a bit. And depending on how long you actually leave it on the stove, kind of depends on how wet you like your eggs. These I'm leaving on a little bit longer. Oops. <laughs> 
just to get them a little more dry, but personally, I like them a little more wet. And if you don't like your eggs chopped up as much, you don't have to chop them up this much. And you're also welcome to add salt and pepper too. I usually don't. I like them plain. And there you go. They are all done.